guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here, back again. And today I am here for a super exciting video. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video or my leaks video, then you might not know that American Girl re-released their first six American Girl historical dolls for their 35th anniversary. So in yesterday's video, I gave a tour of the American Girl Place Chicago showing off these beautiful new dolls. And like I mentioned in that video, I got all six of the dolls. So in this video, I'm going to open all of them up. I thought about separating this video into six different videos, but I figured I would just put it all in one super long video. And if you're interested in a specific doll, there will be timestamps down in the description box below. However, I do encourage you to watch this entire video because American Girl did a fabulous job with these dolls. They look so good and I'm really excited to show them to you guys. So one more thing before we get started, I do want to encourage you guys to subscribe for a couple of different reasons. I'm going to do comparison videos of these six new dolls to the original dolls. So that way you can see if you have one of the original dolls or a Be Forever version, if you should get one of these as well. And two, because this video was not sponsored by American Girl, I purchased all of these dolls with my own money. And yes, my bank account is really suffering right now. And I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe and like this video, if you guys enjoyed and are interested in watching more of my videos because it really helps support my channel so that way I can keep making more videos like this in the future. So now let's go ahead and get started. So of course the first doll I'm going to want to open here is Molly McIntyre. If you guys don't know, Molly and Emily were my first two dolls. So I am super excited to see that Molly is back and that other children can get to experience having Molly and making memories with her. So before we actually open up Molly, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So you can see that the box is plain maroon on the front and it says the American Girls Collection. And then for Molly's box, obviously it has a picture of Molly and 1944. And then below it, it says Molly McIntyre. And then at the very, very bottom there, it says Molly McIntyre's 35th anniversary collection. The side of the box is just a normal American Girl box. Same with the top as well. And then the back of the box shows what this comes with. And it says it contains one Molly doll, one sweater, one skirt, one dickie, one pair of bloomers, one pair of shoes, one pair of socks, one beret, one pair of glasses, one glasses case, one purse, two hair bows, one hanky, one necklace, one penny and an envelope, and one book. So now let's go ahead and open up Molly. So as much as I want to start off by looking at Molly, we are going to start off by taking a look at her accessories. So the 35th anniversary dolls come with the accessories included in the price and you cannot purchase the accessories separate for these dolls. So here are all of the accessories for Molly. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. Starting off, let's take a look at this little pamphlet that they included. On the front, it says celebrating 35 years and it has the six dolls on it. Then on the inside, it says this. And if you would like to read it, you can go ahead and pause the screen right now. And then here is the entire inside of the pamphlet as well. Finally, this is the back of the pamphlet. Next, let's actually take a look at the book. They reprinted the original books that came with the dolls back then. And what's cool about this is the side even says Pleasant Company on it. And then finally, here is the back of the book and it also says Pleasant Company Publications on it. And then here is a look at some pages inside. You can see they have the original illustrations with it. Next, let's take a look at Molly's red purse. Obviously, in this video, I'm not going to be comparing this to any of the original accessories that came with the dolls. This is just going to be showing you what comes with these new 35th anniversary dolls. So here is the red purse. It is made of of a pleather material and it has a velvet lining on the side as well as a velvet strap as well 
and then there is a little buckle in the front and you can undo that and put some items inside. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, the tags on these do say made in China for American Girl. None of it says Pleasant Company. Up next, we have Molly's Navy Beret. And this is just a regular beret. And it kind of has a felty material and it's not stretchy at all. The next item is Molly's handkerchief and this is white with some red stitching around the sides and then it has Molly's name embroidered into the corner and then here is what the back looks like as well. The next item that comes with this are Molly's glasses and her glasses case and her glasses case is red felt and it has a little elastic piece here so that you can put it around your doll's wrist. And inside of it are Molly's glasses. And these glasses are actually pretty heavy. They are made out of metal and obviously they open up so that way you can put them on your dolls. They have some thick plastic lenses in them as well. Up next we have Molly's locket and it is a silver locket. And if you zoom in really closely, you can see the beautiful details that are on it. This locket does not open. It is a solid piece of metal. It also has this super interesting hook to get it on your dolls. I've never seen a hook like this from American Girl in my time at least. And then the final item in Molly's accessories is her penny and it comes in this little paper pouch. And then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. The penny is dated 1943 and then here is the back of the penny as well. So now finally we get to take a look at Molly herself. So first off here is an overview of the doll. Now let's take a closer look at her and her outfit. So here is a closer look at Molly's face. You can see that she has the classic face mold and gray eyes and she has brown hair that is in braids and what's cool about this is that they even brought back the original pie bangs. At the end of Molly's braids, she has these red ribbons and the material of these ribbons is kind of like a tent material. So here is a closer look at Molly's sweater. Underneath her sweater, she has this collar showing and the collar is white with blue zigzags on it. The sweater itself is not super soft, but it is a navy color with red and green detailings on the front here. Here is Molly's skirt, and her skirt is also a navy blue color, and it is kind of a rough material. It is different from the sweater material, and I'm honestly not quite sure how to describe it. I guess you can kind of say it feels a little bit like felt, but not the type of felt that would fray. I'm sorry, I don't know my fabrics that well, <laughs> so I'm just giving you guys my best guess. At the side of her skirt, you can see it has a little American Girl tag as well. Taking a look at her socks and shoes, you can see that she comes with white socks and a pair of black plastic Mary Janes. Now here is Molly from the back. You can see that her hair is parted beautifully and she does have the tiny pieces of hair to cover up her wig cap. You can see at the back here that her sweater does have Velcro to make it easier to get on and off. The back of her neck is stamped American Girl. And with What's super cool is that she comes with neck strings. So here is one of her neck strings. It is the same as American Girl's old neck strings from the early to mid 2000s. If you guys are a relatively new collector, you might not know that American Girl dolls used to come with neck strings instead of zip ties to hold their head on. They did stop using neck strings within the past couple of years and instead replaced it with zip ties. And then here is the back of her skirt, which also has Velcro as well. So I just went ahead and took off Molly's clothes and she's the only doll that I'm going to be taking off their clothes from and the reason why I did this is because I'm sure a lot of you collectors had a lot of questions about the dolls quality so obviously as you can see these dolls are not white bodies the original three American Girl dolls did come with white bodies back in the day however these recreation dolls do not come with white bodies they also come with a super long tag and my tag says copyright 2017 the vinyl on these dolls is also the hard vinyl it is not the squishy vinyl like the older dolls and as you can see the body frame of these dolls are still relatively thin the older American
American Girl dolls used to be pretty chunky. The body cloth on this Molly doll does feel a little bit thicker than the newer body cloths that American Girl does. And then from the back again, you can see the neck strings on this. Also with the body cloth, although it does feel a little bit thicker, it is still not as thick as it used to be. I also forgot to mention as well that Molly does come with this pair of white bloomers. So real quick, here is Molly in her entire me outfit as well as her accessories. So the next doll we're going to open up is Kirsten Larson. So Kirsten contains one Kirsten doll, one dress, one pair of pantalettes, one apron, one pair of boots, one pair of socks, one bonnet, two hair bows, one spoon, one spoon bag, one necklace, one hanky, and one book. So let's go ahead and open her up. So just like Molly, we are going to go ahead and start off with Kirsten's accessories. So Kirsten also came with one of these pamphlets and it is identical. And then here is Kirsten's meat book. It also includes the original illustrations from her book. And it also says Pleasant Company on it as well. So next let's take a look at her bonnet. It comes with this red checker print pattern and it has these two pieces to tie it around her neck. Then there is elastic here towards the bottom so it fits snugly around the doll's head. This is made of a super lightweight cottony material. Next we have her wooden spoon. It is an orangey woodish color and it kind of is more like a paddle. As you can see, there isn't really like a scoopy part of the spoon. It just kind of comes to a point there. And then there is this other side with like a little knob on it as well. And this feels like actual wood. The next item is her handkerchief and it is this cream color with red and blue detailings on it. And then here is the back of it as well. Next we have her amber necklace and it is an amber heart necklace on a brown ribbon. There are also these gold details that allow it to open and close. It has the same fixture as Molly's necklace did. And then finally, we have the little spoon pouch and it is made of a cotton material and it says 1854 KL, which is Kirsten Larson's initials. It is red, white, and blue and it has blue straps that tie around the doll's waist. There is one pocket inside of it. So now let's take a look at Kirsten. Here is an overview of her. And now let's take a closer look at her. So first off, here is Kirsten's face. She has the classic face mold and she has these beautiful blue eyes. She has blonde hair that is put in two braids that are looped around and she has beautiful bangs that are also the pie bangs and she has line eyebrows just like Molly did. And now let's take a closer look at her dress. So here is her dress. It is blue and it has these pretty little flowers all over it. And then it has a white collar as well as white sleeves. And the sleeves have Velcro on them to help it go on and off your dolls, which also allows a little bit of poof to the sleeves as well. Then she comes with this apron and the apron is red and white and it has stripes going down it. At the bottom of her dress, it almost looks like it has different layers but it is all just one layer and then over there you can see it does have the little American Girl tag. Down by her feet you can see that she comes with the pantalettes and they have this beautiful detailing stitched into them and then you can see she has her yellow and green socks as well as her brown leather boots and this is fake leather by the way. Here is the back of Kirsten's head. She also has these short hairs to cover up her wig cap. And I totally forgot to mention, but her hair is tied back in these pretty blue bows. And then the back of her dress has Velcro going halfway down. Her apron is tied in the back in this beautiful bow. And honestly, I'm not going to undo it because it is so perfect. And then here is the back of her shoes as well as her pantalettes and socks. So here is Kirsten in her entire meat outfit as well as her accessories. I think that she looks so cute. And then here is what it looks like from the back as well. So now the next doll that we're going to open up is Samantha Parkington. Samantha comes with one Samantha Parkington doll, one dress, one pair of bloomers, one pair of tights, one pair of shoes, one hat, 
one hair bow, one purse, one hanky, one brooch, one penny, and an envelope, and one book. So let's go ahead and open her up. So let's start off by taking a look at the accessories. So just like all the other dolls, Samantha comes with this pamphlet, and the pamphlet is the same as all the other ones. Next, this is the book that Samantha comes with. It is her meat book, and it has all of the original illustrations from the original. Up next, let's take a look at this hat. The hat is hard, and it has crushed velvet on it. It is a maroon kind of burgundy color and it has a maroon velvet ribbon as well as a pink ribbon on top of it. From the back you can see that a bunch of different ribbons come together to a bow and they all hang down at the bottom here. So we have a pink ribbon, we have a gold ribbon, and we kind of have a greenish gray ribbon as well. Next we have this hanky and the hanky is all white and then it has this beautiful embroidered detailing of a flower in the corner over here and then here is what the back of it looks like. Then we have Samantha's Indian head penny. You can see that this is what the penny looks like. It is dated from 1904. And then here is the back of the penny as well. Up next, we have Samantha's brooch. And this is a gold bow brooch with a little locket in the middle. And the locket also has this beautiful detailing on it as well. However, the locket does not open. It is just one solid piece. The back of the brooch does have a pin that does go through the clothing and it is a little bit sharp, so if you are giving this to young children, definitely be sure to supervise them with this. And then finally, we have this little purse. The purse is also made of velvet, and it is a baby pink color with gold detailing, and the detailing is actual metal. It has a little gold chain so that your dolls can carry it around, and it does open up so that you can put stuff inside of it. So next, let's take a look at Samantha. Samantha is the first doll from today to come with a hairnet, so let's go ahead and take that off real quick. However, as you can see, the hairnet doesn't cover her entire head, it just goes towards the back. All you have to do is pull it out of the hair ribbon, and then you can take it out and let her hair loose. So before we take a closer look at Samantha, here is a little overview of her. So here's a close-up of Samantha's face. As you can see, she has dark brown hair, light brown eyes, and the classic face mold. She also has lined eyebrows as well. Here's the back of Samantha's head. You can see that her hair is in a half updo, and it is tied back with this pretty bow. The bow is made from kind of like a tentish material. She has really loose curls to her hair that kind of bounce around. So here is Samantha's dress. It is a gray and red checkered print dress with a red belt in the middle. The red belt is sewn into the dress and it has a gold belt buckle that is made of plastic. The dress is also made from kind of like a tentish material. And the sleeves of the dress do have Velcro as well, similarly to Kirsten's dress, so that way the sleeves can poof up and also make it easier for you to get it on your dolls. The back of the dress has Velcro going halfway down as well. Looking down at her shoes, you can see that she is wearing black tights and she also has black plastic Mary Janes. She also has some bloomers that are identical to Molly's as well. And then here is one final look from the back as well. I forgot to mention real quickly as well, Samantha's dress does come with a little American Girl tag in the corner here. So here is one final look at Samantha in her entire meat outfit as well as her accessories. And then here is what it looks like from the back as well. The next doll we are going to open up is Felicity Merriman. Felicity comes with one Felicity doll, one gown, one shift, one pair of stockings, one pair of shoes, one cap, one pair of garters, one hair ribbon, one handkerchief, one purse, one Bitcoin on a card, one necklace, and one Felicity book. Now let's go ahead and open her up. So 
of course, let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at the accessories. Felicity comes with this pamphlet like all of the other dolls do. And then here is what her book looks like. So first off, we have her cap. Her cap is white with a maroonish red bow on the front. And there's these cute ruffles as well. There is elastic in the back to help it fit better on your doll's head. Next, we have the cute little purse and it has these beautiful details on it and a little ribbon so that your dolls can carry it. The purse does open up so that you can put stuff inside of it. Next, we have the handkerchief and it is white and it has this beautiful lace detailing all around the side. Next, we have this necklace. It is just a bunch Bunch of red beads and it has the same strange clasp structure that all the other necklaces have had so far. Up next we have Felicity's bit and it comes with this little paper as well with it so if you're interested in reading this you can go ahead and pause the video right now. And then finally it comes with Felicity's garters and it comes with this paper as well. Here are Felicity's garters. They're both identical so let's take a look at one of them. So they have this beautiful detailing on them and then they say, Wove with love for Lissy, 1774. And Lissy is Felicity's nickname. Now that we took a look at the accessories, let's go ahead and take a look at Felicity. So here we have Felicity, and she also comes with a hairnet. So let me go ahead and take that off of her real quickly. So let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at Felicity's face. As you can tell, she has the classic face mold and she has lined eyebrows and she has her electric lime green eyes back. Her hair is a darker red color and it almost looks like a brown color, honestly. And she has three pin curls on either side of her face. When you turn her around, you can see that her hair is pulled back in a ponytail and it's tied with this white bow. I'm really trying to get my camera to show what color her hair is. I guess when I spread it out more and let the light hit it, you can tell that it's a little bit red. I would say the best comparison would be to Emily's hair. If you have Emily, it looks pretty similar to hers. So here we have Felicity's dress, and her dress is mainly a cream color with some white ruffly details around it and it has this beautiful flower print on it. And I especially love how the sleeves over here ruffle up. I think that that is super cute. And then here is what the bottom of her dress looks like. It definitely reaches the floor. And underneath her dress, you can see she has her shift. And the shift also kind of pokes through up here at the top as well. And then underneath her shift, you can see her cream colored socks as well as her shoes. So this is what the back of Felicity's dress looks like as well. There is Velcro going halfway down the dress too. However, the shift underneath does not have any Velcro. So you just slide that on and there is elastic around the top here to help it get on easier. So here is what Felicity looks like with her accessories. And I also went ahead and put the garters on her as well. Something I wanted to point out was that her socks are so soft and fuzzy. When I was putting them on, I was like, gosh, I want a pair of socks like this for myself. Something else as well is that there's another plastic American Girl tag right by my thumb here. And then finally, here is how Felicity looks with her accessories from the back. The next doll that we're going to open up is Addie Walker. Addie comes with one Addie doll, one dress, one pair of underwear, one pair of stockings, one pair of boots, one handkerchief, one hair ribbon, one bonnet, one cowrie shell necklace, one water gourd, one half dime in an envelope, and one Addie book. So let's go ahead and open her up. So of course, let's go ahead and start off with Addie's accessories. Here is the pamphlet that I'm sure you guys have seen many times already in this video, if you are watching it all the way through. And then here is the Meet Addie book that came with the doll. Sadly though, mine came a little creased and dented, which is a shame but it was the very last Addie doll that was there, so I didn't really have many options to choose from. So let's go ahead and start off with Addie's half dime. So here is what the front of it looks like. It's really hard to tell since it is super reflective, 
but it does say half dime on the front of it. And then here is what the back of it looks like. The next item is Addie's necklace, or if you watch Trip Through Time, it is the time travel necklace. And it has this fake cowrie shell on the front of it. And then it has this long cord to put it around your doll's neck. And it also adjusts here as well in case you wanna make it tighter or looser. Up next, we have Addie's gourd and it is yellow and green and it is made of plastic. And then finally, with these accessories, we have the kerchief and it is a yellowish beige color with these beautiful leaves on it. And when you unfold it, you can see that it is actually pretty big. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Addie. So starting off, she does come with her bonnet on and underneath that she has her hair in a hairnet. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly take off her bonnet and then her hairnet as well. So before we take a look at Addie herself, let's go ahead and take a look at her bonnet. Her bonnet is made out of a yellowish tan wicker material and it has this beautiful blue sash going around the top and also lining the bottom. And you can see the detailing on that is beautiful. And it ties down here at the bottom. Since this is made of wicker, it is super hard and durable. So here is a close up look at Addie's face. You can see obviously she has the Addie face mold and she has lined eyebrows, very dark brown hair, and dark brown eyes. She also comes with her ears pierced and they are non-removable earrings. When you turn her around, you can see her beautiful textured hair. It is braided in this really cool hairstyle and there is a blue ribbon that goes underneath the hairstyle to hold it all together. So now let's take a look at Addie's dress. As you can see, it is this really pretty reddish pink color and it has white buttons going all the way down the front. All of the buttons are non-functional though. Around the sleeves, there are little pieces of Velcro to help you get it on and off your dolls. When you turn Addie around, you can tell that there is Velcro going halfway down the back. Just like all of these new outfits, this one also has a little American Girl tag down in the corner here. So now down here at the bottom, we can see Addie's underwear, and her underwear is white, and it has this beautiful lace detailing here at the bottom. Below her underwear, we have her stockings, and they are black, and they are also super long. If we roll her underwear all the way up, you can see here is where her body cloth is, and then here are where these stockings end. And then finally, we have Addie's boots. They are a black combat style type of boots. They don't have any Velcro on them, they just have laces that you can tie and untie to get them on the dolls. And finally, here we have Addie in her original meat dress with her accessories. And here is what it looks like from the back. So now the last and final doll that we are going to be opening up today is Josefina Montoya. Josefina comes with one Josefina doll, one camisa, one skirt, one pair of underwear, one pair of moccasins, one rebozo, one sash, one hair ribbon, one hair primrose, one handkerchief, one pendant necklace, one pouch, one hola coin in an envelope, and one Josefina book. So now let's go ahead and open her up. So of course, let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at her accessories. I promise this is the last time I'm gonna show you this, obviously, since this is the last doll, but Josefina did come with this pamphlet as well. And then here is Josefina's meat book, and they have the beautiful original illustrations. So let's go ahead and take a look at her pouch next. It is brown and it is made of a pleather material. It has a little grip back here so that your dolls can hold it. And then there is a little loop here that goes around this little button so that way you can open and close it so you could put things inside of it. Next we have Josefina's handkerchief. It is all white with the exception of this very pretty flower over here in the corner. Next we have Josefina's hola and here is what it looks like and then here's the back as well and it says 1824 on it. So the next item is Josefina's rebozo. So when we unfold it, you can see that it is really long. I actually can't fit it all in the camera but you can definitely see that it's super long. If we take a closer look at it, you can see that it has a bunch of colors woven together 
and here are the edges of it as well where you can see more of the colors in like a tassel form and then the final item is Josefina's pendant necklace it is gold with this very pretty pendant with a little red bead in the center what's interesting is that unlike all the other necklaces from these dolls this one has a normal clasp so now let's go ahead and take a look at the Josefina doll but first she has a hairnet on so let me go ahead and remove that really quickly So starting off, here is a look at Josefina's face. She obviously has the Josefina face mold. She has dark brown hair and dark brown eyes as well. She also has her Josefina eyebrows and she comes with pierced earrings that cannot be removed. When you turn her around, you can see that she has a long braid that goes halfway down her back and at the end it is tied with a blue ribbon and it has some flowers in it as well. So now let's take a look at Josefina's outfit. So first off we have her camisa and this is basically a super long shirt. It has some really cool detailing up here as well as around the sleeves and like I mentioned this is a long shirt so if you pull up her skirt you can see it goes really far down. Speaking of her skirt it is a dark red color with these pretty flowers all over it. Then we have her brown sash and it ties in the back. While we are looking back here, I just wanted to mention that the camisa has velcro going halfway down and the skirt also has velcro. Whenever you want to undo the sash, you just have to untie it though. Down at the bottom here, you can see it has this pretty lace detailing and that is sewn into the skirt so it cannot come apart. Then we see the bottom of her camisa like I was talking about earlier. And underneath that, she has her underwear which is kind of like a super baggy pair of boxers. And then finally, we have her moccasins and they are a tannish brown color. And they don't have any velcro, they just come untied to get them on and off. And finally, here we have Josefina in her entire meat outfit with her accessories. And here is what it looks like from the back as well. So here are all of my 35th anniversary dolls all lined up next to each other. So now that we have them all lined up, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering if I would recommend you guys getting these dolls. And honestly, I would have to say that I definitely recommend them. I feel like American Girl did a wonderful job at recreating these dolls. They are all so beautiful and they bring back so much nostalgia. The quality of the items in these sets are really good as well. I feel like AG wasn't messing around with this. They wanted to release some items that were really Really good quality and they definitely did so I guess that is it if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to leave it a like I put a lot of hard work and effort into this video and if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell icon so you'll be notified every single time that I upload and be sure to comment down below what your favorite doll is out of the original six and finally be sure to follow me on Instagram it is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore to see more behind the scenes of my channel as well as a bunch of photos of these dolls. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.